This video is brought to you by Skillshare. If you're a beginner DJ and you want to start mixing ASAP, then this is the perfect transition for you. There are so many ways to transition from one song to the other and for a beginner DJ, the options may be daunting. But if there is one DJ transition every DJ needs to learn first, it's this. The basic DJ transition where you mix in the intro of the next song with the outro of the currently playing song. So here's how you can do the transition in 5 easy steps. And don't worry, no beat matching skills are required. And also, all the songs I'm gonna use in this video are all available for download down below or right over here. And you can really support this channel by donating and downloading as you go. And with that said, let's begin. So step number one is to know what songs we have and their respective BPM. BPM stands for beats per minute and you can think of it as a speed or tempo of the song. So song number one's BPM is 120 and song number two's BPM is 124. And both these songs have intros and outros. Now, an intro is the first section in a DJ-friendly song where beats just play, and an outro is the last section in a DJ-friendly song where also beats just play. And so because of that, the plan is this. We're gonna mix the intro of the next song with the outro of the current song. These songs are both DJ-friendly edits, meaning that their added intros and outros were purposely made for this intention. To be mixed. Now, let's look at our setup and see what we're going to use. So we're going to use a play slash pause buttons of both decks. These are in charge of playing each deck respectively. Oh, baby. Next, we're going to use the volume faders. These are in charge of the volume of each deck. Next, we're going to use the tempo faders. These are just the BPM of both songs. And finally, we're going to use the jog wheels. These slightly temporarily affect the speed of the song. Now with that out of the way, let's proceed to step number 2. So step 2 is to play the first song and adjust the next song's BPM as it plays. So in this part, we're going to use Deck 2's Tempo Fader. Oh, baby. Mm. Hey, Step number three now is to wait for the section we plan to mix in and to play the next song once you reach that section. Now step number 4 is to make sure that the beats of both songs are aligned and to adjust accordingly if they aren't. Just because both songs now are in the same BPM does not mean they'll immediately sound perfect together. You'd have to make sure that the beats align and to verify that, you can either look at the screen and see for yourself or use your ears and listen to both songs with your headphones. Here's how they sound like if they aren't aligned. And here's how they sound like if they are aligned. Mm -hmm. 
but you're human and not a robot and you're bound to make mistakes here and there. So to correct any discrepancy when you cue the next track in and aren't aligned, use the jog wheels. So either push it clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust accordingly. So the final step now is to mix the next song in with the currently playing song. So bring the volume fade of the next song up and then slowly bring the volume fade of the currently playing song down. Once you do that, congratulations, you've just successfully transitioned. Now, to make your transition sound even smoother, you can also adjust the EQs. I personally take out the low EQ of the currently playing song in combination with bringing its volume down. And that's it. This is the first DJ transition I ever learned and to this day, I still use it. It's a pretty invaluable skill to have. And accumulating as much skills as you can, especially when you're starting out, is the key to being a successful DJ. And another way to get skills is through Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes on graphic design, music production, songwriting, and a whole lot more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on useful and engaging topics like making a website and marketing yourself better. It's honestly a great way to improve your skills and unlock new opportunities. I personally want to recommend Kyle Soto's course on mixing in Ableton Live. It's the perfect class to get a creative approach on making DK friendly songs in Ableton. So join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare with this very special offer just for my viewers. The first 500 people to click on my Skillshare link down below will get two months of unlimited Skillshare for free. Yup, for free. So what are you waiting for? Click on that link and start learning today. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one. I definitely suggest you guys to first use whatever you have with you right now. So if that's your cell phone, if that's your laptop, then use that. But if you really want to get started in DJing, What's the best thing that you can buy? Definitely whatever you can afford. Use whatever that is to get you where you want to go. Remember, at the end of the day, it's not the, it's not the equipment you use, it's how you use it. Be it a phone, a computer, or like a product controller.